Frank Lampard might be under pressure, might lose his job soon, who knows. But some of the names linked to the job, absolutely unbelievable. Can't believe it. What's going on guys, one more chill, it's back again with another for you guys, I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening, especially after yesterday, Chelsea lost 3-1 against Man City, that result still hurts me, growing reports about Frank Lampard could be losing his job, but today's reports we have further news that Frank Lampard still has time to turn it around, we have other reports saying the next managers that we're looking at, such as Brendan Rodgers, Shevchenko, I want to give my opinions on these, I'm quite shocked with it to be honest, but guys, you don't know how it goes if you guys can help this channel, smash the like button as it helps the channel so much. Subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on every single topic that I do speak about. Now we know Athletic yesterday reported about growing concerns from the board on Frank Lampard's tactics with Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, the results. Growing concerns between the players that are not playing and Frank Lampard, and the list goes on. We have further reports from Matt Law. Jacob, all these guys saying that Frank Lampard has time to turn it around. We've got some important games coming up in the Premier League. Fulham, Leicester, which I do believe on our day we can get it done. So maybe Frank Lampard does have some hope because Man City is a difficult team regardless. We shouldn't be losing 3-0 in like 23 minutes, I agree. But hopefully we can turn it around. Okay, now what I want to say is I will never disrespect Lampard in, disrespect Lampard out fans. You all have a right, okay. I understand the growing concerns for Lampard out. But at the same time, you have to ask yourself, are you happy going one step forward, two steps back? Are you happy with short-term success? If you are, fair point. I backed Conte, I backed Sari, I'm back in Lampard. And I listened to his press conference yesterday, Frank Lampard, and he spoke facts, man. Like, he said it perfectly. We're going to go through a difficult phase, but we'll get through it if they stick by him. And I do believe with the games coming up now, we need to start putting the results in. I know he has the worst win ratio, of course, under Roman Bromwich's error. But first season had a very, very difficult transfer ban. In the Hazard was gone, and we still came fourth. We came to FA Cup final, of course. So it was a positive. But this season, £220 million spent. He has to step up. He has to take responsibility. But we're not even halfway through the season yet. So do we really want to set the manager now? I understand the growing concerns. I understand that I get frustrated as well. But for me, it's like... A tiny bit more time. I feel like Fulham is the breaking point. If he doesn't beat Fulham, then yes, you know, we have to ask that question. I will back the board in the choices that we make, but we have to think about long term. Some of the managers that we're looking at, Shevchenko, okay, fantastic player before he joined Chelsea, of course. He wasn't a success at Chelsea, in my opinion. Um, he's doing very well with Ukraine. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe interim might make sense to get us into the end of the season and then plan for the future if we were to get rid of Frank Lampard. Um, but Brendan Rodgers, I know he was a link with Chelsea in the past with Jose Mourinho and stuff like that, but come on, like I'm, I'm thinking long term, like how are we meant to move forward as a club if we're looking at these type of targets? No disrespect to these guys, don't get me wrong. Now some of you guys say about Tuchel, Nagsman, all these guys, I understand the project, but what is the difference? Some of these guys have been winning their games of course, but when you come to Premier League, it's different man, it's different. Klopp took many years, I'm not comparing Klopp and Frank Lampard, I'm just saying that Klopp was given time. In the first season, they didn't do too well, they came in a few cup finals, I believe it was, and then they started finishing in different positions, but it took time for them, okay? I understand Chelsea, you don't really get time. There was a three year project, the project was first year, you know, to get into Champions League, second year, close the gap, and then third year, challenge for the honours. So what I believe is, Frank Lampard might have a chance, okay? If we start getting some wins together, try to finish top three at least and close the gap. No person as a Chelsea fan wants Frank Lampard to fail on purpose. No way, I understand that. Except for maybe kids on social media that, that just don't like him, fair enough. But like I said, he understands the Chelsea mindset, okay? He's been there as a player, he knows how it is. It's difficult, man, it's not an easy job. He does look a bit stressed, I'm not gonna lie to you, so hopefully he figures it out. They've got two days off now. They're going to be coming back for the FA Cup. I don't know if he's going to field a strong team. I'll be very surprised if he doesn't because he needs to start getting that confidence into the players. I don't know in terms of the players giving them 100%. Kante was trying so hard. Kovacic gave up in my eyes. Mount was trying but really wasn't that effective. You know, Kurt Zuma booting the ball away didn't look too bothered where he's kicking it. Players, didn't look, players weren't 
basically pressing, if you know what I mean. You guys talk about Conte, 1-0 was a nightmare. For me, yesterday's game was worse. The way they were just playing around, they were taking the mick, okay? They were taking the mick. Honestly, it was that bad as a Chelsea. But some of these targets, like, think about it, guys. Why would you want names like Rodgers and, and Shevchenko, all these guys, you know, if we ain't got no long-term plan, which we, for the first time, we had under Frank Lampard, where are we going with this club? Unless you want short-term success, yes, it's nice to win the Premier League. Yes, it's nice to win the FA Cup, Emirates FA Cup, Carabao Cup. It's nice when you're there and you actually see the club lift it. It's amazing. But I really want this mindset to change. I really want, you know, long-term. I want a manager to be here for more than two years. Three years, five years, ten years. Whatever it is. Like a Ferguson, if you know what I mean. Whether it's Lampard, whether it's John Terry, whether it's... Whoever it is, basically, we need someone close, okay? I believe players like John Terry should be assistant manager and try and learn how it is before becoming a manager at Chelsea as well. That's something that I want to see in the future as well. But I feel sorry for Frank Lampard, okay? I was pushing it out, like Lampard out and stuff, and I listened to uh, post-conference after my live stream and stuff, and I thought, I believe he can turn it around, but it's, a, it's about the players. Can they turn up for him? They do look tired, they do look leggy, they look like they're not disciplined, they look all over the place. Thiago Silva doesn't understand, Ben Chill was talking a few weeks ago about we feel unstoppable, we can win every single game. And then we went down like Jay Sean. It doesn't really make sense if you know what I mean. Now, managers like Tuchel, I understand the project, it does make sense. Do you really think he fits as a Chelsea manager here? Um, of course, Nagelsmann, perfect for Timo Werner, you know, the work together and stuff like that. But you have to ask yourself... We're going to go through this period again in terms of results not going our way and then bouncing back. We've seen Arsenal now win three or four in a row and now they're three points behind us. I told you guys, I had Arsenal fans trying to banter me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. I've got some positive YouTubers uh, comments from uh, Arsenal fans. So, uh, you know, big up to them, of course. But you have to think about it. A season can change very, very early and easily because... We're not even halfway, United started poorly, now they're on the run, the joint top, Arsenal, like I just said, are bouncing back. Teams are coming up and down, the gap isn't too, too bad, but I really feel Lampard deserves a few more chances before a choice is made. But if the board say it's time to go, like, like uh, Claude or Robbie, whoever it is, then I don't have anything bad to say, if you know what I mean. I'm hoping Frank Lampard can, you know, try to change it around. But at this rate, I'm not seeing him or the players doing that. Now, I expect after his rest, after a break from the FA Cup, hopefully he feels youngsters or if he feels a strong team and we get a win. Fulham is the main game we have to win. All eyes on that game. If we do not win that game, very, very worrying times. But Leicester as well is a title threat. Not even title threat. Top four threat. Which is why we have to get positive points from that. At least a draw, in fact. But... The more wins we get on the trot, the more better for Frank Lampard to save his job. A couple of weeks ago, we were talking about where we were title challenges. Now we're talking about saving his job. We have to think of it like that. Like I said, I understand the managers that we're looking at. As you can see from the thumbnail from Alfie Newman, my guy. Go support him on Twitter as well, link in the description. He does edits every single day. Big up to him. And he's been helping me out past week. Amazing. This channel is growing again slowly. So, I'm, you know, thank you. I couldn't do without him, of course. When you look at the managers, you just think, we're happy, you've got Champions League, we signed all these players, everyone's excited, and then we're stepping back if we get rid of the manager. So, yes, very frustrating at times when results don't go our way, when we lose 3-1, it doesn't really make sense. But you have to ask yourself, is it just the manager? Is Kante good enough in that position by himself? I've been backing it, but now I listen to Sari, and I think Sari was right about Kante, he was right about Kalanta Ndoy. So where do we go on from here? Can Declan Rice change it no i don't think we need any more signings i think we need to understand as a team that some of the players the way they play just doesn't suit frank lampard's formation and we have to fix that that's the problem do we change into two up top with Jude and timo Werner calvert's behind do we change it like that maybe this is something that frank lampard will be looking at in the next few weeks of course but time is running out time is definitely running out is he could be sacked soon okay could be sacked soon but the games that I'm looking at in the Premier League, he still has a chance to turn it around. I'm not sure if I can turn around this hair, but I've been asking you guys, what's more stressful, my hair or Frank Lampard's job right now at Chelsea? 
Many people saying Frank Lampard. I, I thought with my hair at times, but you know what? We just got to believe, man. Like a couple months ago, we were all happy. I'll say life as a fan is is bright and stuff, but I just don't understand why we're going backwards, man. And hopefully, one more chance we can fix it. If not, it is what it is, isn't it? But like I said, I understand if you're Lampard out, I respect it. I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about you guys, in it. Obviously, I'm more in the middle. I'm more towards out in a way, but I still believe, you know, Lampard can do something. Hopefully, against these teams, man. But guys, if you enjoy my content, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and I'll see you guys soon, man. Peace.